बिसमीम डी स्टूडेंट्स असलम एंड वेलकम टू ऑफिस डॉट कॉम डॉट पी के आई होप एंड प्रे दैट ऑल ऑफ यू आर इन द बेस्ट ऑफ योर हेल्थ एंड ईमान डी स्टूडेंट्स वी हैव बिन डिस्कसिंग अ वेरी इम्पोर्टेंट चैप्टर दैट इज़ डी एन ए एंड क्रोमोजोम्स एंड अप टिल नाउ वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट क्रोमोजोम्स देयर स्ट्रक्चर देयर कम्पोजिशन डिफरेंट थेरीज दैट आर एसोसिएटेड विद the inheriting properties of chromosomes as well as we have discussed dna as a hereditary material in the previous lecture we have proved through various experiments and supportive evidence that dna is by all means the hereditary material only dna has the capability of carrying out the information from one cell to the other cell or from one generation to the next generation so today we are going to discuss in detail about dna dna is our to- today's topic and we will discuss in detail about the chemical nature of dna what is the composition of dna what are its components that determine its specific characteristics and its specific functions so dear students as we all know that uh, in genetics griger mendel's work holds very much importance so mendel's work was discovered in 1865 it means that all the work performed by mendel on the pea plant it was uh, discovered in the year 19 uh, sorry 1865 and after 4 years of the discovery of mendel's work in 1869 another scientist who was german in origin his name was frederick mischer he discovered the dna so dna was discovered long before it was actually studied in detail and mischer he actually he was extracting uh, some things from the nuclei of human cells and fish sperm so when he extracted he obtained a white substance he carried out extraction extraction of some human cells and fish sperm so as a result of this extraction he obtained a white substance and he named this white substance as nuclein because he extracted these white substance from the nuclei of human cells and the fish sperm so frederick mischer he worked on the human cells and fish sperm and he extracted a white substance from the nucleus which he called as nuclein because uh, it is associated with the nucleus so when the nature of nuclein material was studied it was found out that it is acidic in nature acidic in nature so therefore they called it as nucleic acid nucleic acid so for 50 years 
the scientists they did not perform uh, almost they performed a little research that was no or little research that was performed on dna because nothing was known of its function and it was not discovered till that time that dna or this nucleic acid has any kind of role in heredity or carrying out the genetic information from generations to generations till the year 1920 In 1920s the basic structure of nucleic acids was discovered or determined by biochemist P A Levine P A Levine So up till 1920s nobody was working on the functions or the structure of DNA or the nucleic acid nobody even thought of trying to work on it because they did not know what was the function of that white substance that was obtained from the nucleus or anything like that so for 50 years they called them as nucleic acids means an acidic material that is obtained somewhat from the nucleus till 1920 in 1920s another biochemist who was working on the genetic functions uh, he extracted or he determined the basic structure of nucleic acids now we will see what were those structural components that were determined by p a levine in the nucleic acids <laughs>